Hello, Sequoia students and families. This is Mrs. Ward again with the second in a series of music video lessons. In the first lesson, we did Rattlesnake Skipping Song, and that was really fun. Today, we'll do one of your favorites from the beginning of this year, the Hungarian song, Boots of Shining Leather. First, let me remind you of the words to this song, and then we'll sing it. The words are, if you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather, money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather, but if you would sing with me, you don't need a cent, you see, so come and sing together. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. Let's sing it together now. One, two, ready, go. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather, money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather, but if you would sing with me, you don't need a cent, you see. So come and sing together. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. One of the challenging things we did with this song was stepping the beat, clapping the rhythm, and singing all at the same time. Let's just do the stepping part first, though. Get your feet going first. Beat. Beat, beat, beat. One, two, ready, go. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. Money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather. But if you would sing with me, you don't need a cent, you see. So come and sing together. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. How did you do? Now let's switch to the rhythm. Clap the rhythm as you sing the song. Remember, the rhythm is the way the words go. One, two, ready, go. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. Money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather. But if you would sing with me, you don't need a cent, you see. So Nice job. But let's put it all together now. Start your feet first. One, two, three, four. One, two, ready, go. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. Money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather. But if you would sing with me, you don't need a cent, you see. So come and sing together. If you That's really difficult to do. I bet you did a great job though. The other skill we practiced with this song was rhythm reading. First, let's find out how many sounds we are singing on each beat. Some beats will have one sound, some will have two sounds, and some beats will have no sound at all. So let's just take the first line, if you dance, then you must have. We'll stop after the word have. Point to the beats and think how many sounds you are singing on each one. If you dance, then you must have. Sing it again. If you dance, then you must have. I'll let you think about it for a moment. If you thought it was two, 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 one, you were correct. Let me change that to two, 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 one with our heart chart here. All right, next line. Boots of shining leather. Try the second line. Find out how many sounds are on each beat. Boots of shining leather. Sing it again. Boots of shining leather. I'll let you think. If you thought two, two, one, one, then you were correct. Let's check our work so far. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather. Good so far. Let's go on. Money in your pocketbook. Ready, go. Money in your pocketbook. Money in your pocketbook. 
I'll give you time to think. If you thought two, 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 one, you were correct. Two, 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 one. Change it. My love, money in your pocketbook. Now the last part of this section of the song. In your cap a feather. Sing it again. In your cap a feather. Let you think for a moment. If you thought two, two, one, one, you were correct. Let's check all of that now. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather, money in your pocketbook, in your cap a feather. Look very carefully. I think I see a pattern. Do you see a pattern? Do you see some lines that are alike? Here's what I see. A, B, A, B. The first and third lines are exactly alike. But not only that, the second and fourth lines are alike too. So what if, what if I just put a repeat sign right there? Would that work? I think it would. We do the same thing twice. Let me just take these down. We might need those spots for something else, like the next part of the song. Now we know we're going to do that part twice. When you see that repeat sign, you go back to the beginning and you repeat that. So let me put some more beats up for the next part of the song. So just a moment, almost done. Great. So now we're up to the part of the song that goes, but if you would sing with me. Let's try that part. But if you would. How many sounds on each beat? That's easy, right? One sound on each beat. I don't need to change anything right there. Let's try this line though. But if you would sing with me. What did you notice on that line? Sing with me. Did you notice a beat with no sound? Which one was it? The last one, yes. But if you would sing with me. Now I know that's not the whole song. We'll do the whole song in a moment. But so far we have if you dance, then you must have boots of shining leather, money in your pocketbook, in your cap of feather. But if you would sing with me. We've got that silent beat right there. And you, I'm sure, remember that the notation for that, here's our repeat sign, is with two sounds to a beat, T, T. If you have one sound on a beat, it's ta. Can we read it and sing it that way? Let's try that. Ready, go. T, 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 ta. T, 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 ta, ta. T, 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 ta. T, 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 ta, ta. Ta, 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 ta. Now that's not the whole song, but I bet if you just kept singing, you would be able to sing the ta's and t's in the right place. Try clapping and singing it with ta's and t's and don't do just this part of the song, but keep going and finish the song and see how you do. <clears throat> One, two, ready, go. T, 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 ta, T, 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 ta, ta. T, 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 ta, T, 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 ta, ta. Ta, 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 ta. So that was the rhythm that we learned for 
Boots of Shining Leather earlier this year. Great job with that. But the most enjoyable way of singing that song is to sing it in a canon. Remember, a canon is where both groups or both voices sing the same thing, but they start at different times. You can also call that a round because a round is a simple type of canon. We can do that even in this video lesson. You might find it easier to sing part one of the canon the first time, but then back the video up and try singing part two. One, two, ready, go. If you dance, then you if must you dance, have boots of shining boots of shining money in your money in your cup in your cup of in your cup of feather. If you sing with me, with you don't you don't say to send you sing and so together. If you dance, then you must have boots of shining boots of shining leather. Great job with that, Canon. I hope you enjoyed singing that with me today. I miss you. Keep singing, be kind and helpful, and be safe. Watch for more music video lessons. Bye for now.